Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Ashok Hussain and I am an assistant professor of anatomy at Rashid Latif Medical College, Lahore, Pakistan. Uh, in this video, I will talk about uh, the posterior compartment of the arm. And fortunately, in posterior compartment of uh, the arm, we have got only one main muscle and that is tricep muscle. So as the name is, uh, you know, indicating, tricep tri means three sep means heads so this muscle has got three heads this is tricep muscle and we will uh, look at this tricep muscle its origin insertion and nerve supply and action so this is tricep muscle so in this uh, uh, particular animation only uh, two heads of the tricep muscles they are visible whereas uh, uh, the you know mm, deeper head which is um, medial head of the tricep muscle is hidden from the view uh, so I will, I will try to make it clear in a while uh, so first I guess we better talk about these two uh, you know uh, heads which are visible so this is the long head of the tricep muscle and this is the lateral head of the tricep muscle long head of the tricep muscle here we can say long head of tricep muscle and this is lateral head of the tricep muscle as we can see this is the origin of the long head of the tricep muscle and it is from the infraglenoid tubercle infraglenoid tubercle uh, as the name is uh, you know uh, from name it is obvious that uh, this tubercle is just present uh, inferior to the glenoid cavity that's why it is called infraglenoid tubercle uh, and this head it uh, arises from the uh, just above the uh, spiral groove of the humerus from the posterior surface of the humerus this head arises from the just above the spiral groove of the humerus on the posterior surface and this is the conjoint tendon of the hum uh, tricep muscle and it gets attached onto the uh, postro uh, posterior uh, you know surface uh, um, posterior superior surface of the olecranon process of the ulna uh, so i would uh, now um, um, i would try to make the third head clear that is uh, you know yes this is the lateral uh, medial head of the uh, humerus the lateral head was from just above the spiral groove uh, on the posterior surface of the humerus whereas this uh, uh, medial head it arises from the uh, below the spiral groove from the posterior surface of the humerus um, a spiral groove is present is, is crossing this uh, uh, posterior surface of the humerus obliquely so above the spiral groove is lateral head and below the spiral groove is medial head. Uh, Sometimes most of the students they usually forget uh, about which one was the medial head and which one was the lateral head uh, and where it is arising. So I j have just devised a mnemonic for that and it is very simple and very easy. Uh, if we uh, you know look at the spiral groove which is present on the posterior surface of the humerus uh, uh, as it is just visible here uh, so in alphabetical order uh, if you go for you know uh, alphabets like a b c d e f g h i j k l m l comes first then comes the m so simple as that above the spiral groove is m uh, l and below and below the spiral groove is l so above the spiral groove is m and below the spiral groove is m it means above the spiral groove arises the uh, you know uh, lateral head and below the spiral groove arises the medial head so all these three heads they are supplied by the uh, you know radial nerve and uh, radial nerve uh, um, passes through this uh, spiral groove along with the profunda brachii artery and it supplies this muscle mm, and uh, this muscle produces extension this uh, 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 this is the origin of the muscle and this is the or uh, insertion of the muscle when this origin will pull this insertion toward itself as a result 
the forearm would be extended at the elbow joint so this was brief about the tricep muscle thank you very much